Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Belinda Dinwiddie Havron, and I'm with the Community Foundation. And we're really excited to be with you today. A couple of my coworkers are going to help participate in this training. We hope that it's training. We're going to just have fun with it. Um, I, I can't tell where they are, but it's in my left hand corner is Audra Cox. Audra is with the Community Foundation. She's been there about four years, two and a half, four years, something like that. And she is. Um, does a, a great job with us, but uh, works a whole lot with one of our initiatives called Give Black, Give Back. And we also have Rondell Richardson. Rondell, wave to the crowd here real quick. And Rondell has been with us about four years, five years, some years, a number of years. Um, Rondell primarily, uh, well, he does a lot of different things, but what he is an, a real expert in is working with the entertainment and sports industry. Um, we have a, a, a lot of those that want to do things with us, so we get the opportunity to work with those. So he brings a unique um, a bit of talent with us also that was different than we had before. So I'm going to start sharing my screen. And uh, we're going to kind of, let me see if I can make it start from the beginning. Is it showing up? Yes. Yes. Oh, good. Good. Well, that's obviously we all know that this is the big payback. Um, we want this to be interactive. So if you guys have any questions, you want to raise your hand or put something up or you want to interrupt, it is fine because this is your hour. We're, we're excited to be doing it, but we want it to be beneficial to you all. So we were kind of talking uh, together about some of the things that he did. And one of the things that we we're always saying is, you know, how do we get people engaged in the big payback in different ways, but, but also how do we get our board members or other volunteers engaged in a different way? And what we are hoping to do is this, is these are things that we want not to be staff driven, but driven a lot by the board. So working with them on some ideas, and we've come up with what we think are eight ideas that we hope will be fun with you guys. But, but primarily it is to really enlist your volunteers and your board so to some creative ideas of how they can raise money during this time. Because most of the time we, are, we drive a lot of this, but we really want it to be empowering the whole team of, of your staff, of the board, of volunteers to kind of get really kind of something fun going and to um, bring some different engagement for the board. So we we have come up with some ideas that we think that might be helpful and we wanna kind of go through them one by one. And I think that Audra is gonna be the first one that's gonna talk about, about um, her title is thank you for being a friend. And you all know the we put the, our golden girls down in the, in the bottom right-hand corner of the PowerPoint because that's their theme song. So Audra, why don't you kind of talk to them a little bit about some of the things that, that you thought of. Sure. Thank you, Melinda. Um, thank you for being a friend is a theme. That's that's one of the ways that we um, surmise that as a, um, a board member, ask each board member to ask 10 friends about the big payback and ask them to give. It's as simple as that. If you think back to the, the sitcom, of uh, the Golden Girls, they were involved in a lot of things, engaged in a lot of things. And uh, that's what we want you to do, is it's as easy as asking, asking 10 people to give, 10 people in your circle, in your um, uh, community, in your civic uh, organization, uh, in your church, just, just 10 people. It's as simple as asking them to give, asking them to help you help the community um, expand. And on this particular day, this 24 hour period, just give. And we, you know, we started looking at that. Audra, thank you, because we started looking and said, if you have 10 board members and each of them will ask 10 people, you've got a hundred donors there. And particularly because you're trying to expand your base of donors, that it's great if they're new ones and it's kind of an easy way for them to get in to donating to an organization because it doesn't have to be a big ass. They don't have to go anywhere. So it's, it's kind of a fun thing to do. And it's all about creating those friendships and using them to, to benefit your organization at that time. 
So that was, that was a, one of the ideas. The other one we started playing around with was play the game. You know, and again, remember, we're always wanting the board members to be involved with this. But um, on that day, we thought, how could you, you know, what has been going on in the recent news was we, we had um, March Madness just get through that. We've gone through in is it February that we had the Super Bowl. You know, we have um, uh, the Kentucky Derby will be coming up the day or the weekend after the, 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 the big payback. And we were kind of thinking of, could you create a strategy that was somehow along that, those lines of creating either a pool, you know, like we, what you do when you're, not, not that I'm the expert on the pool, but you know how kind of it is when you're, when you're really looking at it and you're doing the March Madness, people have pools and, and say who's going to win all along. And you could do a pool within the board to have the board competition of who can make the most. And and like if you had 10 board members or so many board members all lined up, you could do a pool of those and see who, who generated the most people to come. Or um, you could do something that uh, is theme released around the Kentucky Derby so that you could do, you know, um, something. You'll hear some more things about social media in a little bit. But anything that kind of does a competition or generates excitement or that is fun, we talked a little bit about poker, how could you do that? Well, if you have five staff members and you have 10 board members, could you create a poker game and create like a full house so that that you, that if everybody, you know, if everybody donates or everybody gets somebody to donate at a specific time that you've gotten a full house of competition of that. And uh, we, we expect that they would have, you know, many of them could have some other ideas of how to take something like poker and turn it into something on that day, either through your social media or, or some other aspect like that. So we wanted you to think in terms of because th that, that those competitions, the office pools are going on and your social circles, those pools are going on and you're betting at the Kentucky Derby or even, even if you're not um, yourself betting, you're looking at those things. So we kind of thought if you could create some kind of a game competition out of it. Um, and I don't know if anybody has done anything like that. Have any of you done any kind of a, a game or a competition within within your organizations during the big payback? Nobody at this time has done that? Well, wow, see, we got a great idea for you to be able to, to look at. Let's see if we can create some kind of competition in some ways that could turn in to benefiting your organization. Rondell, I think you're up and are gonna tell us a little bit about, about May the Force Be With You. Yes, I am. In fact, we have a little friend here, little baby Yoda came to give us Aww. some good, good juju this day. Well, it's such an honor to be with you guys. I am a big Star Wars fan. And I asked Belinda and Audra if we could name this slide, May the Force Be With You. And partially because I had the good fortune the last four years, this will be my fifth big payback to be on the Community Foundation team, to be on the Prize Patrol. And part of the strategy behind the Prize Patrol, of course, is to give these exciting nonprofits an, an extra little bump in their stocking. But we're also, we, we also want to know strategy. This day was built around a beautiful movement to help you sell your charity, to help tell a story in a different way. And so in advance of this presentation, what I did was went back and listened to some of the big payback videos the last two years. And what I found was a key, common theme was story. And I bet you a lot of, uh, I'm guessing a lot of you know the hero's journey, Joseph Campbell. Um, he is beloved by Disney because there is a hero, there is a guide, and there is often a perpetrator, a villain, a dark side. There's usually a rumble in the story. And what I noticed in going back and listening to some of the the videos last year of the winners from the winner's circle, if you will, um, was that the charities that let their donors be the hero in the hero's journey 
were the ones that were incredibly successful. Meaning, I think we often fall into this, the charity is the hero, the mission is the hero, and perhaps it needs to be. But I've noticed a common theme. When you make your donor the hero of the story, the Princess Leia, the Snow White, the Luke Skywalker, and the charity, the navigators, the board who are channeling this become the guide, become Yoda. They're the wise, nurturing soul that's taking these donors along on a journey. And I think it's one of the more compelling things that, that we do at the Community Foundation in encouraging others is hone your story. Um, I, I think there doesn't have to be a villain in this story like the classic Disney movies. But if you remember this, be the Yoda in, on the Big Payback Day and let these donors be the Luke Skywalker, the Leia, Princess Leia, um, Snow White. Remember that where we are, Middle Tennessee, this is a very entrepreneurial region. People love story. They love songs. This is a hodgepodge of people who have come here for health care, perhaps entertainment, um, now technology. It's a college town and a good city and a good community like we have loves a good story. So may the force be with you as you navigate this exciting day. And we can't wait to see what kind of great stories come out of it. Um, I'm passionate about this in a way that's probably unusual, but I think story is undersold. Um, find a great storyteller amongst your board and let them help you tell your story and make this the best day possible. So, so Rondo, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that, that, that you're looking at uh, again, when we were talking about May the Force Be With You and creating those, May the force those be heroes, with you. Uh, may the Force Be With You. What did I say? Did I say something else? Probably. No, you said May the Fourth because we actually start on May oh, the Fourth. Oh, that's fourth. right. So the Force, the Force on the Fourth Be With You. But we're, but you, on this time, you are talking about using the board members and a lot of times their stories and the impact that it could have had or how, how that has kind of an, impacted them in a powerful thing and they and they got energy from that in some way. Um, I know with my own personal experience of doing some stuff with, with Gildas, you begin to look at that it's not just the mission of doing it, but the heroes that do do give us the energy and the force to be able to deal with things during this. And that's is that the kind of thing you're talking about a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm sure you've heard this before. No one ever won the Nobel Peace Prize by doing anything that they weren't passionate about. If you have a board member that maybe can't strike a big check or be a financial support, but my goodness, they're your communicator. They're your Yoda. Let them be that wise counsel on this journey and bring a new level of compassion and passion to your May the 4th be with you, into Cinco de Mayo be with you. Yeah, yes, while they're drinking margaritas. So the board, mem board members, they could, they can, because it's easy to record nowadays and be able to download that. The, the stories could be done and sent out every hour to encourage people because you can do that kind of stuff either through your social media or direct links and that, that kind of thing, right? That's what we're kind of looking at. Right. Yeah. Okay. So kind of the other one we looked at was Audrey's going to talk to us a little bit sure. about um, about some ways that that never occurred to me until one of them brought this up about saving the date and how to go about doing that and what that kind of means and some and some uh, action times that are associated with that. So Audra, Audra do you want to sure. talk through that one? Sure. Um, this is this yet again is another easy, easy way to engage your board uh, members into uh, sending out a text, tweet, a save the date calendar, um, um, and our request for um, QR codes to their colleagues and encouraging them to make a donation at a specific time. And uh, prior to the, uh, the day, we will, there will be a list of prizes in advance that you'll know that you could be vying for. Uh, you could brainstorm and see which um, prize is most suitable for your organization. And then as Rhonda was talking about the history, we've, we've, we've compiled some things and, and found out some interesting things from 
um, some of the more successful campaign winners in the past. The first two hours of the first day, we begin on May the 4th at 6 p.m. The first two hours on the first day and the last two hours on the second day are the busiest. And that's when everybody everybody's excited to try to get their, their um, donations in, some of the first for some of the prizes. And then on the last day, trying to make that deadline. What we also found out conversely is that the hours be, uh, between 1 p.m. and 3 on May 5th are generally the slowest. That's a good time to engage um, some of those board members maybe who are busy and um, you know, take a longer lunch or, or whatever, just say, hey, we'd like to designate five of you to make a donation between the hours of one and three. Um, and that's, that's really, really um, a good way to give those people who are uh, busy a way to um, fit this into their schedule. Having a list of certain people that go out on a uh, certain time is an excellent way of getting people involved. One of the things, Audra, that I really liked about that that never occurred to me until you guys were talking about it the other day is to, to actually um, give a board members and, and have them help with that, but also to do calendar reminders of a mm -hmm. specific. So if you all are going for a specific prize, to have them have calendar reminders that come up and bump in their, in their inbox so that they know, oh, this is the time I'm supposed to do that with reminders all, all the time. You're doing a lot of things leading up to it, but, but, but doing that. We also know that there are opportunities. Um, I, I, who am not very technologically advanced in most cases, have found that I actually like to go to restaurants now that have the QR, QR codes so that you can look on the menu or you can do it ahead of time. Or I got in trouble one day doing that on the Today Show. I did a QR code and, and suddenly was buying something that, that I probably really didn't need. But um, they're, they're not difficult to create. And within your organizations, you probably have board members who can help you with that. And to, to help, you know, again, we want to engage the board members in doing these kind of things and leveraging their relationships. So when we talked about the 10 friends, you could combine these two together by doing 10 friends that each did 10 friends, but they all did calendar mm -hmm. invites to those friends to tell them we're going to try to win the prize between one and three or whatever prize that you want to go for and use that opportunity to do so. Is that, Audra, is that kind of yes, what we're all thinking exactly. about? Exactly. Exactly. Do you have anything and, to add with that? I'm sorry, go ahead, Wandra. No, I was okay. just going to say, and, and thank you, our colleague uh, Nicole has put in the chat that the, um, the list of prizes are going to be released by mid-April. And Rondell has also um, graciously put inside the chat the um, link so that you can create a QR code. To make it see how easy that is. You. you put a link in for the so they could go ahead and learn to do a QR code, Rondell. Oh, I did. or their board members. Let's not forget, yes. you guys are carrying the heaviest load. So if you can exactly. find a committee member or a board member or volunteer to do that for you, it makes it so easy. So terrific. Well, that yes. was a that that was a great idea. I, you know, I, I I like that one because that would be something I do know how to do calendar invites. So that would be, and I know how to link things. So both of those would be something that I could that I could do. And we know I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. So we uh, are going to move forward to a kind of another idea, and um, we have a, a a little video that we want to play for you. And um, when when this is over, I have a question for everybody before we move into the next thing. So here's our little video. Let's see if it'll work. When I first tried Fabergé Organic Shampoo with pure wheat germ oil and honey, it was so good I told two friends about it. And they told two friends. And so on, and so on, and so on. And believe me, there's still nothing like the original Fabergé Organic. It gives me super shine, super body. And super fresh smelling hair. Try it, and you'll tell your friends about it. And they'll tell their friends. And so on, and so on. Be sure and get the original. Fabergé Organic Shampoo and Conditioner with pure wheat germ oil and honey. So did my hair, does my hair kind of look like that? I was going for that today. 
I was trying to say, could I just become to look like Heather Locklear um, and see if I could do my hair that way? But it kind of showed you what we're, the whole theme of what we've been talking about is sharing and doing, but how to capitalize on that through kind of the social media um, aspect of it. And Wanda's going to talk us through that kind of thing. Oh my gosh. And I'm not sure uh, that I've ever uh, moved on from Heather Locklear and the 96 versions of Heather Locklear haunting my childhood. When we started talking about how do we get the word out? How do we become social butterflies for our organization? Or again, importantly, how do we engage our board members and colleagues and volunteers and friends to help us tell our message? Again, keeping with the theme of story, these have been very successful over the years. Um, we, we wrote down, don't forget, you know, texting is social media, tweeting, using Instagram. One thing that um, our Giving Matters team here has taught me is that you can follow the hashtag Big Payback on Instagram. And there are already people posting about the Big Payback. They're trying to get this day of giving in the, the psyche of their best and greatest donors and volunteers and friends. And it's also a great resource. It's a library, an arsenal, if you will, of information about what other folks are doing out there. So if anything you do today, if you go to Instagram and your organization has one, or again, you have a volunteer that's running some of your social media, check those hashtags, especially on Instagram, it tells a really quick and meaningful story. You can see see a lot of different uses of that platform. Of course, Facebook is um, the, the, the Mac Daddy. Like I, I think most of the folks that we have seen over the years who are successful um, have figured out a way through their board and volunteers to really navigate the Facebook waters. And trust me, we have our own challenges with Facebook. Sometimes they'll take a video down for no reason. So be thoughtful and mindful, whether you use uh, a song or a recording, um, Facebook might take it down, they have an algorithm. But if you're having board members talk about their passions and, and what's important, um, very likely that they wouldn't. Um, I just met an influencer on TikTok. I didn't even really know what this was, um, but he covered the Grammys this weekend in Las Vegas and his name is London Lazarson. And the younger donors, the kids that are a surprising high percentage of folks that, that are drawn to a big social media day like the big payback. Um, if you go and study London Lazarson and how he engages his audience, you chances are you have a volunteer or a friend who could do the same thing. And it, it, it's the equivalent of let's not leave any money on the table. Let's, let's gobble it up and do some good in the world. Um, what is not on here on the page is LinkedIn. We have seen numerous charities use LinkedIn because that's a business community. The business community wants to know and get passionate behind what you're doing. And you might find a corporate sponsor on LinkedIn. So don't forget our friends at LinkedIn. Um, we like to call that adult Facebook. So uh, use LinkedIn uh, to your to your fullest extent too. All of these efforts help you tell a story on this special day, but also on the other 364 days a year. And again, in thinking of the spirit, here we are in our ninth year with the big payback. This was really started as how do we sell ourselves? The world is really noisy right now. It's really crowded. But if you can find a niche on one of these social media platforms, if you can find a way to keep telling your compelling story or put your animals in human outfits. People love that. Those always track really well. Let, letting people submit donations with their pets if you're a pet charity or in your place of business, wherever your charity is, if you're uh, Lindsley, Preserve Lindsley Avenue, maybe some of the updates that you've done. Um, letting people be a part of the journey is, is so successful when you're building out your social media platform. Contests are a way to engage people over social media. I would say stay away from giveaways because we all know the challenges there, but, but contests are fun. We talked about that at the game level. Um, the point here is you don't have to have thousands of followers. You just have to have a great story. And remember, this is gonna be your story 365 days a year. What you learn from the big payback day is you might find a hundred new friends as a result of somebody going in searching the big payback and they find, oh my gosh, these guys are doing really great 
work at Portara or at JFON or some of the organizations that you represent. So it's not just meant to be for this day, it's meant to be for all days. And remember to have fun too. That's great. That's great, Rhonda. So Rhonda, would, would you say, and looking at that, you know, if, if you said to me, again, as a, the, the, somebody who's not as, as tech and who is not on, on some of these platforms at, at all, but if you were, if I was a board member, at, would you use all of, would, could you use all of these different platforms and have different board members use them? So somebody do something on Facebook and somebody do something on Instagram and somebody doing TikTok and somebody tweeting, somebody tweeting, texting. You have to be, I don't think you have to be all things to all people. Honestly, I think the quality of the message is the most important. If you're telling an honorable story, whether you're telling it on Facebook or Instagram, um, Twitter, we didn't talk about Twitter gets a lot of attention in the three seconds that your tweet might be high in someone's mix. Um, don't discount that too. But I heard someone say one time, Twitter is like yelling off a cliff and hoping that people hear you. Um, I think that's an important thing to remember. So Belinda, I think the answer to that is, tell your story to the degree that it feels honorable to your organization. We have just seen that people who really stick with the honor of their story, whether they use one or whether they use all, um, are the most compelling. And I think that's the word. When we're trying to be social butterflies, um, we gotta just hone in that message in such an honorable and sweet way. Okay, well, we, we, we thank you for that one because um, as you said, somebody's going to have to teach me how to do some of those kind of things a little bit more. Um, but I, I do know when my granddaughter is over here, she's constantly on TikTok, you know, doing <laughs> something on TikTok. And, and so it's, it, that's a, depending on what, and it also helps a little bit with what your, what your, the age of your audience and who you're doing to, I'm assuming also. Of course. You know, I was invited to a, a birthday party of somebody recently and um, I got invited by a text. I have never been invited to a birthday party by a text, but that was that was that was uh, this person's method of getting in touch with us. So um, I think we, what you're saying is tailor it for your audience, but use it, keep your message, but use all these things. And that's kind of we played on on the Heather Locklear again of the you can do something social that goes to a lot of people and just keeps expanding uh, on that kind of thing. Kind of that's kind of the whole a little bit of the theme today, but using board members to create those things for us so that we're not having to do that internally, correct? Okay, so the next, the, kind of the next uh, idea that we have is um, kind of theme related, uh, again, you know, about, about themes related. We, we, we know that, the, again, that it's been kind of successful and it's funny how board members can come up with stuff, you know, kind of things like, if you if they worked at the zoo, you could be doing a campaign that's going bananas for the apes at the zoo, or you could use something about you know if you were doing again the, the elephants if the, if they were doing the elephants at the zoo, you know only donate what you know our 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 elephants go through and you can certainly film element elephants our element our elephants go through hundreds of bags that are of they donate the price of a bag or two along the way. And we were just kind of coming up with, with different kind of ideas to say, how could we use some of these different ideas or different themes that people have done? Like if you're um, an animal rescue organization, going, going to the dogs could be it. You know, um, that we kind of looked at, at that one. We looked at just do it, you know, because these are things people recognize somewhere. You know, the Allstate, you're in good hands. And we started thinking, what are, you know, associated with those? We looked at different organizations. One year, the um, I was work was working with the community foundation, but was working in Wilson County, and we were trying to get people in Wilson County to um, to give during that day. So, what some of our volunteers did, which I thought was an extremely clever idea, is they bought tons of bananas, a bun a bunches of bananas. I bet I I bet they had you know, 60 or 70 bananas. And across the banana with a Sharpie, um, Jenny had written um, the big payback, give to the big payback and wrote out the bigpayback.org at that time. And we, we met at the train station because this is where would we see people that might have some time to do that. And we met them at the train station for the, 
the trains that were going into Nashville and passed out bananas. We had we talked about June donuts, and then we decided we wanted to be healthier than that, so we did the other. But that didn't take that long to do it, and it. I don't know how many. We have no idea how many people donated, but it gave us an avenue to be able to do something with them by giving this theme of of the banana and you know, contributing and something to do on and look at it and gave us an opportunity to really talk about it. So I think we're also looking at a good thing that you could look at is to, is to brainstorm with your board and your volunteers of, could there be a, a, a theme today, you know, that you were going to do that is different than maybe you've done in the past. Again, like we were talking about, we tell our stories, but sometimes we don't make it fun, as fun as that, that we needed them to be so that we can say, going to the dogs, Come on, doing that, or you know, even as simple as the just, just, just do it um, is a good message. I, I'm going to use that for. I like the just do it just for some of my friends when I send out some emails or um, texts that day is to say, I I know you're busy today. Just do it right now, and here's the link. And kind of using that as my personal theme for the day. So I don't know if you've all got other ideas, but those are some things that we came up with. And kind of like a, you know, the diamond is a forever comes from the, is it De Beers? Diamond company that does that. Um, I can't think of anything that's kind of related to, to that with nonprofits, but many of the others that you, that the things um, you could look at different things to do that with. Um, we also want to look at sometimes getting people together or doing things that bring people together. We can now do that again. And so we looked at kind of experiencing the magic. How do we have an experience that we put in the hands of our board members to do that? And I think, Audrey, you're going to talk yes. through some yes. ideas about that, right? Yes, yes. One of the ways that, that uh, Rhonda, Melinda, and I uh, shared uh, in the past have been some great examples of people um, having a shared, quote unquote, experience for the donors provided by their board members. Um, the ex bullet point uh, to the experience should be something special or something unique for those that are selected and provided for or sponsored by the board member. This is, you know, someone maybe who is, um, you have a, a board member who owns um, a restaurant or um, a hotel and maybe they'd like to have a certain section um, marked off for um, some of the nonprofits to get together between the certain hours, uh, unique opportunities like happy hours, um, and with proceeds, uh, a certain portion of the proceeds going to your organization, if that's appropriate. Also, pancake breakfasts, uh, pep rallies, magic shows, or other donut giveaways. One of our colleagues who's on um, with us right now, her um, organization, nonprofits that she represents, has done a fantastic job in the past. Uh, Gina, would you mind sharing some of the? Uh, I know you knew it was coming, Gina, didn't you? I hope so. Uh, but we we thought about it last night. It's like, no, you guys have done a fantastic thing. Could you just share with with the others today some of the things that your organization has done? Sure, I'll be glad to. I'm, I'm here not as a community foundation uh, exactly. representative today. Exactly. Um, we, I'm with Preserve Lindsley Avenue um, now. It's part of um, the historic Lindsley Avenue Church downtown that we've been restoring. And since the first big payback, it's been a great, great resource for us. And uh, for pre-pandemic, we were having a pancake breakfast in the mornings. And it's always had a great response, just a community outreach. And uh, we've done a lot of fun things with it different years. We've had uh, pancake races up and down the aisles of the church building. We've had pancake flip contests to see who could uh, flip theirs the highest. So, you know, it's just a fun time to get together to represent our love for the community. And we've got some things up up our sleeve for this year, but we're not telling yet. Good, good. But that's also, Gina, a, a good way to get breakfast on individuals' way into to the job, correct? Right, right, yeah. And uh, last year during the pandemic, instead of the pancakes, we did a 
drive through the parking lot, uh, pancake, um, I'm sorry, uh, donut giveaway, coffee yes. and donuts. So yes. that was another, you know, way people didn't have to get out of their cars during that time and that kind of thing. So any, any free food is always a great resource. And, and we've had um, people in the past get together doing some things like that, Gina, also that would get together during a specific time and they had a table set up with a computer there so that people could make a donation right then and there mm -hmm. to the to the organization that they were doing. Or um, somebody was was telling me that that what they did is that they um, did the same kind of, of kind of thing. They had a kind of an event where everybody was together. But because they had sent out the link ahead of time, the board members had done that, then they'd all picked a particular time all together sitting in the room and um, and mm -hmm. made a donation at the same time. And so that they were going for a specific prize and they actually won that prize. It was to, the closest to an hour. Or I don't remember what it did, but they were all sitting there together and somebody was counting down the, the time and then everybody did their link and, and did that. So what, what we're kind of talking about is to be able to, is to capitalize on, on doing that this year. Not everybody is ready to get out yet, but a lot of people are ready to kind of get back out and do some things. So, so being able to, um, not only were you able, to, Gina, through yours, to show your location and to show mm -hmm. your mission because you were doing it in your church, but you were also to ever to have fun and engage people and to raise money through that way. The first year you did it, you guys did some kind of video, didn't you? Isn't that funny? Oh, yes, yeah, it's a lot of crazy videos. We, we like to be the surprise team. That We're a small group, but we do lots of fun things together and, you know, kind of try to catch people off guard and not be the traditional church, which you think, and just give that surprise element, which I think really catches people's attention. And um, we also last year, talking about the QR code, since it was a drive-through, we had a paper uh, to tell about our, our uh, restoration and had a QR code so that after they took their done and, and moved down to the office, hopefully they used that QR code to give because they weren't getting out or having an opportunity to give in person. That's an, thank, thank you, Gina. That's another good way of people to be able to have the quote unquote experience. People may not remember everything that you tell them, but they'll, they'll remember how you make them feel. And you want them to feel good about your organization this particular day and you know in the future. So telling the stories, having the experience, experiencing the magic, it all falls into um, some of the things that we, we found in the past have been successful for campaigns. And, and again, Gina, this is where you, you utilize um, your volunteers, your members and your board members. And it wasn't because you don't have that large of a staff. It wasn't driven by a staff of an organization. It's driven by the volunteers. And am I correct on that? It's all volunteer. We have, it, other than our paid uh, minister, we have no staff. So yeah, it's just a, a volunteer group that kind of gets together and says, what kind of kooky thing can we do this year? Last year, we did a play on um, the, which would we pick the door, which, what's that called? That old uh, t TV show. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. What is that uh, called? Anybody know? Uh, <laughs> Price is Right? Is that? Is that no, Price no. Right? Oh. Um, well, I don't know, but we acted it out and the winner had, uh, you know, uh, a crazy giveaway kind of thing. So that's always Let's fun. make a deal. Thank you. Let's make Thank a you. deal. Yes, Nicole. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, glad to have Mary. Have Mary, that. Mary Agent. Yeah. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> okay. And, you know, uh, you, if, if we're going to kind of move to the kind of the next thing, you know, a star is born. There, we do, we do many times have somebody that is connected to our organization that, that has a visibility who's kind of uh, famous and, and we'll take some time because they feel very passionate about it. And I think we actually have right now, we have maybe somebody special with us. Um, Coach, are you on? Linda? Coach, are you, you with me? us? I can't. Can uh, well, can anybody else, can everybody else see him? Hey, Coach. This is Coach Ted Lasso from the Ted hey, Lasso show. Hey, Ted Lasso here. Hey, how are you doing? Ted, I, I'm going to do Great. something right now. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so people can see you a little better because we want you to be able to surely tell us. 
Um, I welcome to see us. Thank you so much. Where are you these days? Are you filming? You know, Queen B, I'm in Richmond, England, coaching a football team of all things. Now they call football soccer, know what I call soccer. But today, I thought I'd come all the way from Richmond to give you some biscuits. Oh, you know, I love those. Thank you. They're not like Hardy's biscuits, y'all. They're sweet. Um, but and what kind of cookies? Are they cookies? They're cookies. They're shortbread okay. cookies. Like, let's just call it what it is. It's a shortbread cookie. Um, okay. And I just wanted to be here today. I'm a team player. I coach a bunch of knuckleheads. They all think they're fancy. But you know what they all have in common? They have big hearts. If you can find somebody on your team that helps you tell your message, ask them how they want to be involved and they'll do it and they'll surprise you. And it'll be like you fell out of the sky through the lucky tree, hit every branch on the way, and you fell into a pool of cash and Sour Patch Kids. I mean, if you strike gold on this day, it doesn't end on this day. Think about all the people that have helped us sell the big payback over the years. I think we've had that, that cowboy Garth Brooks. We've had Kelly Clarkson. Oh, we've had Mrs. Garth Brooks, Trisha Yearwood. She's my favorite. Then Eddie George, he's a famous guy. He tells a good story. Kit Moore, a Charlie Warsham, Naomi Judd. Winona? Winona did. Don't forget Winona, as the song says. But anyway, if you're Thistle Farms or your children's hospital, you got to find somebody that can share their love with the organization and beyond. It'll just pull people in like a big giant hug. We all love a hug, right? We don't love tea. That's just like pigeon sweat. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> As the man once said, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And so don't just do something because everybody else is doing it or you think the elephants are going to you know, win this year. The reality is we all win when we show up to play, right, Belinda? That's that's right, Coach. We appreciate it. And 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 it kind of makes true. us understand because like like you, you may not be able to be there in person, but if you have a connection to a celebrity or or something like that, sometimes they're willing to just come on for a minute and you know and do a tape for you or or visit with you in some way that you want to do. And, and utilizing again your board members that that could help with that kind of thing would be it because coach you can't come to see us but you certainly could join us by by phone and by video right I think I'm on Skype or one of those things is this a zoom I don't know they just told me to come on so yep. what I wanted to say too <laughs> Belinda is there is no doubt that there's hard data that somebody from a board or your committee or a volunteer knows someone who knows someone. Didn't I just see a Heather Locklear commercial? Heather be that name. Come on. Someone on your board knows a high school principal or a preacher of a church or somebody who has a platform that can get you some eyeballs. This is a day about giving, but it's also a day about telling. You're going to tell a story like that Yoda character. He tells a good story. I mean, what's so fun is that Macy Greyhound right here on our jerseys, Belinda, I mean, yeah. she came from an animal shelter. She came from Barkingham Palace. Make everyone believe the best version of themselves and you're going to knock it out of the park. Now, that's not a soccer metaphor or a football, as they say over here. But you've got the strength in you to do this, people. I believe in you. Oh, Coach, well, thank you for stopping by and, and letting us know. We appreciate you giving the people the time. And by the way, I do have a greyhound that I own. My, I rescued a greyhound myself. So You so did? Thank you're, you. thank you're a rich greyhound. I wish you all the best of luck. And thank you thank for inviting you. me. And thank you for letting me be part of this community. It means a lot. Thank you, Coach. We thank appreciate you, Coach. you coming by. Thank you. So, folks, that, that was our, our, our friend, um, you know, a, a great friend, Ted Lasso. Uh, and it was a play on being able to, to again, kind of utilizing the things that you have, the connections that you have, the board members you have. I, I saw Mary smiling during that time of doing it, um, even though that, don't tell him, but he's not the real Ted Lasso. He thinks he is. But um, even if it's a play like that on something that's going on, you can do that. This was all really about just kind of, again, 
utilizing the connections that you have, the board members that you have, engaging them in things that don't have to be hard. And so right now we'd like to open it up to some questions. I know it, we're almost, I think we're almost out of our time, but we wanna open up any questions or any thoughts that you have or any, you know, Gina gave us some of her ideas or there's some other ideas that you'd like to share with any of the other folks on here as, as you're looking at some of the ways that we can utilize board members. Anybody have anything to say? Mary has something to say. And Mary, I think you're muted. There you are. Thank you. Yes. Um, I'm really grateful for this. This has been inspiring. I've been, you know, I've, we've talked about all these kinds of ideas, but it was great to have them all kind of fun, um, just honed into this very simple presentation. So I'm excited to go back to my board and we've got some of them in the works already, but I wondered if there's any way I could connect with some of the people. Sorry, my cat is going crazy in the background. I don't know if you can hear him. Um, I'm just thinking, um, I'm the president of the board of the Nashville Freedom Schools Partnership. And I wondered if um, there's any, if anybody from the call that's with a nonprofit would be interested in connecting, I would love to make connections with some of the people that are on the call. So I'm just wondering if there's a way for that to happen. Nicole, how, hey, if somebody wants to reach out for, to another participant on here, how do we do that? I don't, I don't know that. Mary, if you want to drop your email in the chat, then anyone who would like to reach out to you can do so via that email. Will that work for you? Yes. Okay, Thank perfect. you. See how simple that is? I've noticed you did have some chats. Was there any, um, uh, was anything? And, and Mary, I also wanted to say, and part of getting to do this with Audra and Belinda was that we went back and looked on Facebook from a year ago, from May of 2021 and May of 2020. And we, we watched those videos. Um, you may find that there was somebody doing something that's very similar to what you're doing. And they're like, hey, what pitfalls did you experience? What were your blind spots? What would you have done differently? Um, there's some really good ones out there. And it's not hard to find. If you go to the Community Foundation's Facebook page and just scroll down, it, you know, we post a lot because we're trying to get our arms around so many different nonprofits in Middle Tennessee. But if, if you go back to May of 2021 and 2020, you'll see some of those cute videos. You'll see uh, the Prize Patrol where they're talking about, hey, what was your strategy? And you may find someone that's more in your lane, even beyond right. this sweet group. So just a thought. Great. And, and we Thanks. do hope that the purpose of that, Mary, was for you to be able to go back because when you all just sit around thinking, sometimes you don't have to go back and say, okay, we came up with these, they came up with some of these ideas. How could we do some of them? Anybody else have a, a question or comment or? Linda, I do. Um, we have never uh, tried to focus on matching gifts in the past. And does anyone have any uh, ideas or information that you could share about that? Um, I don't look, does anybody else have anything? The, the problem with uh, the, not the problem, because you always want matching gifts, but mm -hmm. matching gifts generally cannot be counted the day of the event because so you may, it, it may not be as good there because generally with a matching gift, they have to send something in that shows they made, you know, like if you, with a company, you have to fill out a form um, and doing it. Nicole may know something different than I do, but generally, when somebody has a matching gift, that they they don't they have to. Have yeah, that I don't mean maybe I'm using the wrong term. Oh, oh, I you're don't mean about like, like a match. Like yes. If we raise if we raise this much by this time, somebody else will correct. Do that. That's a really good strategy and could be a really good strategy for your board members. Um, Mary, you might want to write this one down. I think it would be a great idea that one of the ideas that you could do. I'm glad you thought about that. Is that if you've got ten board members and they say what my strategy is for every one of you that donate, I'm going to match up to, I'm going to match up to $200 or $500 or $25. I'll match you dollar to dollar, or I'll match up to, I think that if you put that in advance, I think that could be actually a great way with board members. Uh, um, I think that's going to have to be something that you would um, use as part of the strategy when you're, when you're doing it so that they know that if you're doing it, or if you're doing it to a large group, it's a Facebook group, or if it's um, a, something, the, you know, a, a, an email group saying that by this time we have a donor, that if we get to $1,500, they're going to match $1,500. So keep doing it. And then sending out reminders, we're at $1,200, we're at $1,300. You know, we only need $200 more to get to that. Those are things that I can help. Is that, is that what you're talking about, Gina, kind of? 
Okay, and then Nicole put something about yeah. the website that tracks the hashtags on there. Did that help, Gina? Kind of. Yeah, but I think um, I, I, there have been organizations that have used that in the past, but to mm -hmm. to good advantage to already talk to a donor. So if you're if you're looking at board members, that's a great thing to do is to say, what if what if all the board said that they would match up to a certain amount? Any other things, group? Uh, Belinda Kelly put in the chat room some toolkit exercises around um, matching dollars and on the cool toolkit page of the big payback. So, okay, good. Gina, Thank you good. can read a little bit. And if you have any you know, questions, you're welcome to reach out to one of us and we're happy to do that. Well, we, we, um, we, I'm not going to bring up the screen again, but we, I got a quote that I liked and I'm going to kind of end with that because one of the time things we do is we'll think our, our volunteers or our board members don't have a great deal of money or they're not the wealthiest people, they have things. But there's a great quote that says, volunteers do not necessarily have the time, they just have the heart. And I would bet mm -hmm. that you have on your board, board members that have the heart for your organization. And I think you trying to utilize the heart of our board, the heart of their hearts um, and volunteers going forward in some fun, clever way um, may benefit you through this. We, we Rondell and Audra and I um, have had fun kind of playing with some of these ideas and hope that they yeah. were beneficial to you. And we wish you all the very best with the big payback. It's one, it's less than a month away, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So um, any last minute comments from Audra or Rondell or Nicole or Kelly or anybody? Well, thank you all so much. Enjoy thank your you. day. It's a beautiful day outside. I hope that you all get to do it. And thank you for joining us today. And thank you for participating in the big payback. And most of all, thank you for what you do with the organizations you do. You make a difference and make and change lives every day. So thank you.